Good morning YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today's box in front of me is a customer engine that he has so uh, graciously sent to me to work on and try and get repaired. And this is a really large box and I think it's because it's a pretty large engine. This inside this box is an OS FT 300 Gemini. Super Gemini actually. So I already know a little bit about the history of this engine and there's a ton of spare parts in here. So I was just going to open this up as the initial inspection. I don't think I'm going to start working on this engine today, but we are going to just open it up and do the initial inspection. Oh, holy moly, look at that. It even comes with the box. This thing is, uh, well, hell, the box is beautiful. Let's see if I can get this thing out very well packaged so Mr. Hayde English is who sent this engine to me and he is trusting me to get this engine operational I know it's upside down to you but so let's see what all we've got in here like I said there's an engine the story about this engine is it's a rather old engine and has not been run in uh, numerous years and apparently uh, the story Haid told me was that the previous owner to him was flying, had a dead stick and uh, had to make an emergency landing on the runway but yet there was another disabled airplane on the ground on the runway at the time and the fellow that was doing the dead stick landed successfully and tried his best to avoid hitting that plane but uh, still managed to strike the plane on the right side of the engine I believe and uh, did some damage to this beautiful engine so it looks like it comes with every single thing OS ever sent with one of these engines so let's just do an initial inventory here real quick and there's a lot of stuff here Okay, so we've got our prop nuts. Let's just start taking out some of these spare parts. Here's an exhaust. Do I have to zoom it out as much as I can? Wow. Exhaust. We got our tools. Two exhaust headers. Yes, I, I can turn it this way for you guys. Um, intake manifold here it looks like there's another intake manifold it's got some damage to it another intake manifold what is this intake pipe pushrod covers with o-rings um, looks like our feeler Feeler gauge set maybe. Some tools. Now oh, here's the ignition harness. Carb. Uh, looks like a Perry VP20 pump. I'm not gonna take that stuff out. I'm gonna leave that stuff in here for now. So I'm I'm very honored that Hade has entrusted me to repair this engine. This is by far going to be one of the most interesting ones I've done. So here's a new head. So apparently you'll see when I take this out that one of the heads was damaged in that crash. <clears throat> and what we have here intake manifold assembly. So you can see Hade has provided me with probably every part I'm going to need. Less bearings probably. So let me just move this out of the way for now so we can kind of look a little closer at just this engine. So this is the FT300. The left side of the engine looks fine. This thing's heavy. And here's the right side. Here's where we got some damage. So it looks like as it was coming in, it went this way, sheared some of the cooling fins off there, and 
one of the pushrod tubes was damaged. The carb intake manifold assembly is all taken off this engine right now. So the thing I think is really interesting about this, let me see if I can zoom in enough so you can see this. If I can keep this thing in frame. I think I keep moving it. Is it going to focus on that? Come on, focus. Anyway, this is serial number 679, which I think is quite interesting. So this was production run, or production less than 1,000 on this. So it looks like what I have been asked to do with this engine is obviously repair it and get it operational again. Which is probably going to entail a complete disassembly, uh, bearing replacement, uh, cleaning. I mean it doesn't really look like it needs all that much cleaning. It's a rather clean engine. Um, but seeing as I've got a head here, I'll be doing a disassembly at least to that point. Probably a complete disassembly. So let's see what if it turns over at all. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it's got some monster compression. I have no idea what the runtime is of this engine, but it's got pretty darn good compression. I don't have my flashlight here. I was going to shine it down in here. But I'm looking at this. Uh, let's see here. This is an intake valve here. So these intake valves obviously don't have any carbon on them. Uh, let's see here. It looks like this is a fairly low runtime engine, really, because I'm not seeing a ton of carbon. On this exhaust stem or even this one so uh, looks like a pretty low runtime engine so we should be good shape I mean there's always that possibility that the bearings really don't need being replaced but that's something I'm gonna have to assess here uh, as the disassembly takes place so this is something this is a project that's gonna span probably several weeks so it could be uh, some time in between videos, but I wanted to share with the, the viewers and subscribers what one of the next projects is on my table here. And it's the beautiful OS FS3, FT300 Super Gemini.